my beautiful souls is Mon here I'm recording this video from the beautiful Epic Forest where I wanted to connect with the mother nature all around me and I often come here for inspiration connection peace tranquility to recharge my batteries and um, and feel one with everything and everyone around me and for those of you who have been on this dream farm journey for a while you likely know that the whole that there is there are few diff, obviously different lessons and things that we need to master on this journey but the uh, the ultimate path of this twin flame journey leads towards oneness towards understanding that we are all one as i do to you you do to me as i project from my own insecurities or or wounds uh, so i will only be able to experience what i am currently able to per perceive in my level of consciousness and the more I heal myself, the more, the better life I'm able to experience in the external, the more love, the more connection, the more wealth and abundance and even health, physical health, vitality and energy. And it all starts from building our own inner wealth of wisdom, inner peace, inner self-trust, inner um, bliss and abundance and joy and once we feel that on the inside you know it comes out naturally through the interactions with other people it comes out through the actions we take towards uh, creating what we love towards sort of following our, our passion or purpose creating creating things um, that actually add value to other people's lives and um, as you can see, I'm referring to this dynamic where we create the world, the external world from the inside out. And this is so powerful and so incredibly important to understand and master on this twin flame journey because it truly leads to the life of your dreams. Not many twin flame teacher, teachers talk about this. They, most of the teachers out there want to push you towards the mindset that your soul life's purpose is to be about getting into the union with this other being but to be fair i actually don't buy any of that i used to at the beginning of my journey and it was only creating so much frustration and pain and suffering within me that i had to seek alternatives i had to find another way of being finding peace within me living in harmony healing my wounds and only when i did the inner work uh, on the inside of me the outer world started to change in in line with my inner you know feelings thoughts belief systems programs that i would carry and it translated into all areas of life from love and connection through to abundance and health happiness even freedom being able to feel free and at peace with people who cause me pain and who, people who hurt me in the past so it's so incredibly important to master this sort of creating everything from the inside out whatever you strive to achieve within the external environment if you go about it by forcing by chasing by pushing things into the existence and you're not seeing any results or even using the law of attraction and and trying to vibe on a certain wavelength thing that what you want is going to manifest and and if that's not working out for you then it, perhaps you need to do more work on the inside and that work tends to tends to center around three four things that are absolutely critical to master because it, it positions you it puts you into alignment and basically you have to reprogram your limiting beliefs you have to heal your inner child you have to heal your emotional body open your heart you have to be be able to receive and um these are some of the most critical things that all represents energy the energy exchange giving receiving opening yourself up to different levels of um, being and um, understanding uh, how 
easy and beautiful it is to create your own reality when you truly are in the alignment with what you want but it has to come from the inside out there is no other way to go about it and if you still find yourself in a place where you are battling with um, certain emotions if you are obsessing if you're longing and chasing after your twin flame and if you try to get them back through the the conventional means like i don't know texting them writing to them chasing them expressing your feelings or whatever you might be doing and if any of that isn't working then i invite you to look within look into your own heart and see why you might be doing these things what is it that you didn't get in your own childhood that you really wanted that really hurt you uh, that now your twin flame might be mirroring to you perhaps there was rejection in your childhood perhaps there were people who were abusive or neglectful or selfish or self-centered or um, were unable to give to you and you picked up on those on that energy and embody that as your own you see the world through that lens through those glasses where you believe that other people are here to hurt you abuse you or use you you have to get rid of that you have to literally release those limiting beliefs out of your system and program yourself with new beliefs where you now believe people are here to help you and support you and love you unconditionally and when you do this you will be amazed how magical your world will become because you will start to open yourself up like the beautiful lotus flower to a different level of existence existence that that centers around uh, the balance between giving and receiving existence is centered around self-empowering beliefs not beliefs that come from entitlement and ego because that that too is fear-based and scarcity based but beliefs that are authentic and in alignment with your whole self and you deserve love you deserve to be abandoned you deserve everything you've ever wanted so i invite you to start opening yourself up to that start becoming more aware of what other potential self-limiting programs you carry within you that might be sabotaging your reality and start dissecting it right down to the thought and a feeling that you might have within you about yourself others and the world and then the minute you identify um, that limitation you program that with an opposite statement affirmations don't tend to work because just repeating affirmations and believing that thing your world is going to change is not going to work you have to have powerful tools and processes in place to be able to actually make the changes on the subconscious level of the mind for the change to be fully integrated and embodied by your entire be being by your mental body your emotional body and therefore that will enable you to take a, an action in the physical that is in alignment so you see so you will be able to see how easily it will then be to manifest the kind of reality you truly want so i invite you to start observing yourself through a very different lens and see you know every action every thought every belief you have every emotion you feel really ask yourself is it self-empowering or is it disempowering to me and if it's disempowering then go after it and change it and shift it into higher level of consciousness into a, a, a higher vibration and the vibrations um to choose are love compassion forgiveness kindness um, joy is one of the highest um, vibrations on the emotional guidance scale that is so beautiful to feel and it aligns you with who you are at the core of your being with the innocent um, whole being that you are that you came here to express without fear without scarcity without shame without guilt without judgment so go for it commit to yourself to be on this journey towards self-mastery and go all in because this is your life and you are creating it and when you create it from the inside out this is where the magic and true miracles start to happen 
on a daily basis. I'm sending you so much love, peace and joy. Namaste.